So hi everyone, my name is Sven Felitz and I'm a structural geologist by background and I'm working here at Ellis uh, as a consultant, as a trainer, as well as a tester and I'm with you on the support once in a while. So uh, right now I'm going to introduce you the theoretical part of uh, the new things about the automatic uh, fault extraction workflow. So let's get started. So as a brief recap about this workflow that has been implement implemented uh, since last year, uh, here is what we are doing in PaleoScan. So we're starting first with a seismic, and then with this seismic, we're computing the variance, and we're using a scanning disk in there to compute the best sum of this variance, which is uh, yielding what we name the full plane attributes, which correspond to a full, kind of a full probability volume. So this is the step one of this automatic fault extraction workflow. Then in the second step, we are outputting the extrema of this full plane to generate what we name the full plane thinning. This is that uh, cube that you see here on the bottom right. And in the last stage, we're extracting the faults, physically the fault segments, and this is step three. And out of this, uh, the user can later edit manually these faults to create some uh, full families, for example, or to merge some faults. So how does it work? So we're starting with the seismic again, as you can see here in, in line and in, uh, okay, in variance and in line again, and in time size as well. So by the way, this example is taken from F03 offshore the Netherlands. So out of this, we're considering uh, the seismic and the variance uh, in terms of voxels, so which are symbolized with this orange gridding in the picture here. And what we're going to do here is for each voxel of the variance, we're going to, to run this scanning disk, which in reality would be bigger than the, the, the one that you displayed here just for the symbol of it. And we're going to rotate this scanning disk in every possible uh, orientation to get the best sum of the variance. And we're getting to store the maximum best sum at the voxel location in the end. And this is what is going to be the, uh, the value of the fault plane. So we're going to run this based on every voxel of a variance and we're ending up with the fault plane, which you can see here and in line with the core rendering, the seismic and in time slice as well. So we are ending up with this kind of a full probability volume. And the next stage, as I said before, is to obtain the skeleton of the deformation, which you can see here again with the core rendering. So out of the thinning, that we've captured, we are able to extract physically the faults. So again, you can see in red here, the intersection of the faults that have been extracted automatically out of the workflow. And you can see them in 3D uh, with the fault sticks represented in this picture to the, at the bottom right. So, and eventually when you're outputting this, you can use this Terranet tool of Palloscan to uh, conveniently sort your faults uh, in terms of different families uh, depending on the branch and uh, the, uh, the object and as you said you're interested in. So what's new in, in Palo Scan 2020? So as for the full plane, the first step of the workflow, if we're starting from the seismic, we're computing the, the full plane attributes. So this is what you got usually uh, from Palo Scan 2019. So now in 2020, we are actually normalizing uh, these outputs to get some clear fault signature to better capture the faults and to get rid of these sort of vertical gradients of value of the fault plan, so you can better distinguish the faults in the fault plan attributes. So that's a new thing uh, from this 2020 version. As well, in the interface of Palloscan, you're able to visualize the range of angles for the dip and the azimuths that you want to cover. So for example, here uh, you have this green display uh, in this screen here that corresponds to a range of dip in between 70 and 80, 40 degrees. So you're able to better anticipate what you want to capture in terms of full dip. Same applies for the azimuth in time slice in this, uh, in this viewer here. So as for the full thinning, which is the second step. So in 2019, this is the kind of output that you could get. And now with the full uh, normalization that we've implemented, we again see more synthetic results of the force. On top of this, we've tried to, Im to improve our uh, algorithm to have more continuous Forward signal in this skeleton of deformation, and uh, this way to extract uh, better faults. And at last, uh, for the first step of this workflow, the fault extraction, then we're, uh, we've tried to, impl to improve our algorithm to enhance the fault continuity. It means that if you've got some faults with a good continuity and that they're neighboring, then Palace can automatically 
link some of the segments of the faults. So that's to uh, kind of uh, um, save some time for the manual addition so that avoid the users from having to merge uh, manually some of the segments. So you can see here again the differences. So this is what we're doing in 2019 and what's been circled in yellow here are four segments that have been merged together. And you can see the difference of uh, number of folds here, for example, and the difference with the 2019 version, which is listed on the top. So we have, for example, here 618 folds, whereas in the new version, we're saving some fold segments that have been automatically merged, and we're down to 524 folds. So with this, I'm going to leave you for the demo for the practical thing with Jean-Philippe, uh, Jean-Philippe Adam, and I'm coming back later for the multi -Z model. Thanks, Zen. Uh, okay, as Zen explained, uh, I will present you uh, this new feature in live demo. Uh, I will just share my screen. Okay, uh, my application. Okay. Okay, now, okay, I will. Uh, this is PyroScan 2020. Uh, as you can see, we don't change a lot of things in terms of uh, interface. But uh, we have implemented a lot of tools, and especially as an expect for the automatic fault extraction. Uh, first of all, for this presentation, I will use this data set. It's Exmus uh, data set. It's uh, Australian data set. And uh, as you can see, I will just navigate very quickly. We have very huge area of fault extraction. And I will show you the difference between the two extractions between the uh, PyroScan 2019 and 2020. Okay, first of all, concerning um, the fault extraction, okay, and their volume, uh, you, you still have attributes, and then you still have the automatic selection for the automatic extraction workflow. For the one who already used uh, this tool, we still have the same workflow in, in three steps that then um, uh, Sven presented you during, during uh, the PowerPoint. And I will show you the full workflow from the seismic and to create the full plane and then uh, all the different outputs. Okay, first of all, um, just in terms of interactivity and interface, uh, we add in the attributes windows some information concerning some attributes because yeah, we have, uh, it's a complex, uh, complex computation. Due to this, we have different parameters now you have more and more control on these attributes, and we have uh, just indicated some information for the extraction. Okay, I just drag and drop my seismic. And so, first of all, just for the uh, interactivity, we add a stereo note for the deep azimuth filter. Like this, you can really see directly. Okay, I will just navigate. Okay, okay you can see directly the range of deep and azimuth you extract in inline. Also, if you just go on the time slice, it's exactly the same like this. If you have uh, um, a full direction, a major full di direction, and you want only to extract this fault, it's really easy to set, it's more easier to set up because of course, okay, it's, we extract from seismic, but if you want just to choose your parameter, you can drag and drop the variance, for example, to have better display of your full plane and choose your orientation. And then you just have to, just before the computation, to drag and drop your seismic. Also, yeah, concerning, I will just computer preview. Concerning uh, the parameter and the new thing we implement, as Ven explained, uh, we, uh, for the fault, uh, fault plane, we implement a normalization of the workflow to have a clean uh, preview and clean view uh, of uh, this full plane. Okay, take it just a few seconds to display the preview. And PaleoScan yeah, will normalize this previous attribute. Just, yeah, just a few seconds. And like this, we will have this kind of result, much more cleaner compared to the previous one. It's I will present you just after. Uh, also, uh, just uh, for the new parameter, uh, we have a scanning this weighting. In fact, on the previous method, it was already the Gaussian function. In fact, depending the distance from the center of the pixel, we apply a Gaussian uh, weighting uh, ponderation of each value of the disk. 
If you want to speed up the process, now you can use the flat option like this. All, um, all, uh, all, the, all the points of the disk will have the same weight. Okay, we don't apply this Gaussian filter and uh, for the ponderation. Like this, we speed up the process. Uh, also, yeah, just for the thinning, we have two different methods, uh, Gaussian or Hessian. Uh, uh, this two option, uh, it's more, uh, it not, not again under the bubble information. Uh, it will be under uh, the, the user guide. Depending the kind of fault you want to extract, regional fault or more local fault with more detail, these two options will give you more information depending the kind of environment you want to extract. And as uh, Sven explained, when you extract some fault, we have auto-merge option like this to speed up the process and to avoid to merge a lot of fault. Okay, if I just come back and open a blending viewer, Okay, I will just open my seismic and I want to compare the result between 2019 and 2018. Okay, if I just drag and drop, this was the previous release. As you can see, it's already good. If I just have a look in time slice, okay, it's very good. But thanks to the normalization, we have something uh, who delimitate much more better the fault and it will be easier to extract the fault, especially for the skeleton, the fault thinning. If I just drag and drop the previous one, uh, thanks to the previous method, okay, we can delimit clear, clearly the fault, but we have a lot of noise. Thanks to this normalization, we have something mo much more synthetic, as then explained, and allow us to extract more fault and more uh, to be more precise. If I just, okay, I will just close and open just my seismic, just for, uh, for the conclusion and on the automatic fault extraction. Uh, if I drag and drop the fault extract with 2019 release, okay, all this fault was extracted with the previous algorithm. As you can see, we have already many, many faults, okay. But uh, for example, if I have a look on this one also, I can divide in different parts of fault. Now, thanks to the new algorithm, I will just select the fault just to put the previous fault. Uh, in red, this is the result with the new release. First thing you can see, we have much more faults compared to the previous release. And second one, if I just, yeah, uh, if, yeah, if I just toggle off, for example, you see for uh, this big fault, okay, I show you just before, PaleoScan, okay, I still have one or two faults, but I have less fault compared to the previous release. Uh, like this, you will speed up uh, the process of fault refining, fault merging, and this kind of thing. And uh, as you can see on, for this example, uh, we reduce the number of faults around 100, a little bit than, uh, less than 100 faults, but uh, okay, automatically PaleoScan merge many faults to reduce the number of faults by 100. Okay, this is the new feature for the automatic fault extraction. Just concerning uh, the structural framework of uh, PaleoScan and the new feature of PaleoScan 2020, uh, a small tool, and uh, Steve Tobias will present you uh, in uh, in a case in a yeah, case this uh, this new feature. We have a new option. It's called Seismic Ghost. We have a, yeah, a little ghost icon just in, in this part. And uh, thanks to this tool, you just have to draw your polygon, and and then you can move to check correlation across a fault, and like this to find. Uh, connection across the fault, and you can use this tool to, uh, on all the different viewers of PaleoScan. And for example, during uh, your seismic interpretation and uh, your model grid refinement, you can use and merge your um, merge your horizon thanks to this tool. Exactly as all the tools of PaleoScan, if you click and you go under property, uh, we have different parameters. You can change the transparency, okay, of this ghost, or you can display a correlation value just to find the best correlation between both parts of the fault. Uh, I finished with the presentation of the, uh, of the automatic fault extraction and uh, with the ghost uh, as bonus at the end of the presentation. Uh, I let uh, Zen Philippe present you uh, the new feature concerning relative geological time model. Thanks and see you for the next presentation.